humans aren't born out of laying around on their asses. We've been born out of conquering a world. We're the dominant species. We built all this. We're powerful and we're beautiful and we're ready to build the next level of civilization in God's plan. But you must stop bowing to those who want to make you a victim. You must become the victor. If you love God and you want to build a pro-human future, then you are an enemy of the New World Order and Satanism. They want us shut down because we have the spirit. I'm jacked into the source. I know the secret and I want to see you empowered. But you have to believe in yourself first. This is the truth and everyone knows it. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I am no fan of Hassan Piker. In fact, I think he should be banned from Twitch. I think he should have been banned from Twitch years ago. I think he is a danger. I think that he's a terrorist sympathizer and supporter. I think he supports cop killers in numerous different examples. He has supported people that have killed cops. There are video clips of him laughing as cops get shot. This guy is a disaster. He is a danger. He is most likely several generations inbred. He's a disgusting, bottom-feeding, subhuman pile of garbage. And there's a reason why people viscerally hate him. And it isn't based on really Im any immutable characteristics. It's based on who he is, his propaganda, the fact that he is just a genuinely demonic, evil, vile person. Now, some people say that I go too far when I say that I think Hassan should be deported. And I, I do. I stand by that. I believe that Frogan should be deported. I believe that if you are somebody that is defending terrorism against the United States, that that should be classified as a crime and you should be kicked out. You should lose your citizenship if you are supporting terrorists. That is treason, in my view. So, here's a crossing fingers hoping that uh, Donald Trump gets in and starts uh, you know, deporting Hassan along with all of the illegals. So, in today's video, I want to I want to pull up this video from somebody named Grifter, perfect name. It says, Hassan needs to be banned for this gross and unhinged. Well, gross and unhinged for Hassan is like a, a, a daily offering. So, I want to watch part of this video, and I want to reaffirm to all of you guys that it is absolutely true that Hassan needs to be banned. And by the way... I think that most of his audience needs to be banned, too. These guys are degenerate retards. These people are the most low IQ, bottom-feeding garbage that I've ever seen. I mean, holy shit. These people are the losers that other losers make fun of. Like, it is shocking to me that these people are allowed to function and not have a wellness check on them every single day. These are people that think that they're going to be part of some kind of communist LARP revolution where they're going to be on top of the power structure. There's no universe where you freaks and a song audience are ever going to be in the power structure of anything. There is no winning in this, in this battle. And it is like gross and unhinged and completely untrue. You think what Hassan's saying is wrong? Of course. It's completely insane. <laughs> Based. Dude. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, no. They start overtaking the shit. And they're like, guess what, dog? No more trade to Israel. This is completely insane. This is no joke. I like him. But his politics are insane. I like him. What a, what a vile thing to say. Alright. I think it's beyond question at this point. Hassan needs to be banned on Twitch. This yep. guy has bred a culture of orbiters that are condoning some of the most truly deranged things you could imagine. Like, regardless of what you think about the situation that's going on with Israel and Palestine and what side of the coin you fall on, what he is doing is just unacceptable. From interviewing Houthi pirates under the guise that he's a journalist doing journalism, to playing propaganda videos on stream and saying that it's just a musical, and far more. And up until very recently, Twitch has just been letting it happen, basically giving their stamp of approval on all of this and proving to everyone that they don't plan on applying their terms of service equally. 
even though the Terms of Service explicitly states that they will. But with the massive spotlight that's been shined on Hassan and Twitch recently, the people over at Twitch have been put in a tough situation, and they have essentially been forced to start banning Hassan's tumorous orbiters, all in trying to save face for their advertisers. But all of this only happened after days and days of criticism from essentially everyone. But of course, when Asmongold makes his spicy statement for the opposite side of this conflict, he was immediately banned as well as being forced to step down from OTK and his computer company, Starforge. Yep. But it looks like Hassan is starting to feel the heat, that he might not be able to get away with this type of behavior anymore. After his tumorous orbiters started getting banned. Are you going to get banned from Twitch? Love the streams? Uh, no. What? Frogan banned? There is no winning in this in this battle. Okay? There is no winning in this battle. There's nothing you and I or this community or anyone can do. Nothing at all. Firestone. For those who answer the call of the battle. Powerful, portable, professional audio at any location. There is nothing I can do. All I can do is just take it. Just like all Capri Sun Poppy and Frogan and everyone else that's getting banned in this uh, mass ban wave, that all they can do is take it. And it is like gross and unhinged and completely untrue. And I don't know what to say. Aww. Poor Hassan. Dude is upset that there's finally some consequences happening to his disgusting friends for mm -hmm. being half as repulsive as he's been. Yep. It's kind of funny that now there's a little bit of consequences happening when he thought he and his friends could just get away with this stuff. Because they totally were. Till they got just a little bit too brazen. Drawing just a little bit too much attention. And making a lot of prominent figures come out against Twitch's double standards. It's even spread to the mainstream media. And, Hassan, what's gross and unhinged is what you and your orbiters have been getting away with for far too long. True. No, absolutely true. And understand that I've... I've had a negative opinion about Hassan for years. When I found out that he was Jenks' nephew, I'm like, I'm like, oh god, you know, like that's already a red flag right there. But when he came out with bro tips, it was sort of like, okay, you know, this guy's harmless; he's an idiot. But ultimately, you know, nothing really that bad. He just is an obnoxious jock, frat bro, douche. But then he got into the left wing grift, and it was downhill from there. And this guy was. On the, he, he was on the train of defending cop killers and terrorists and, you know, rooting against America. But not like rooting against, you know, certain institutions or, or certain agencies and stuff. But no, rooting against America as it is. Rooting against the West. Trying to foster this animosity and this division and this hatred and this just toxicity. This guy produces some of the most foul content I've ever seen. Because not only does he lack any sort of introspection or accountability or intelligence, but he just blurts out the most insane stuff. And the thing is, the, the most depressing part is that his audience, they don't have the intelligence or the wherewithal to hold them accountable for anything. For the most part, he's allowed to say all this stuff because a lot of these people are nihilistic losers. And I will reiterate that Hassan's audience is amongst the most toxic and retarded on all of the internet. These people are the low IQ of the low IQ. They, these are the people that retards laugh at. And don't you worry. You can say that this is all untrue and disgusting, but I have the receipts. 
Let's start with his son's main tumor, Froken, and their repulsive statements that she made with such utter glee about service members in the military. I have no pity at all for any fucking soldiers. Distress, thank you so much. I will never have any fucking pity for any fucking soldiers. Is the U.S. military? Who fucking who? I hope you get PTSD. I, I do, the ones I do, I, the ones I'm like whatever about, the U.S. soldiers, are the ones that like acknowledge that like what they did was wrong, they didn't know well back, they didn't know back then. Whatever. You're, you're a good person in my book. Oh my god, Tom, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. I mean, who's, who's giving gifted sub to this fat piece of shit? Who's, who's supporting these people? Are, are, are you that depressed? Like, who is giving money and subs to this person? You've got to be at the lowest end of the bell curve. Christ. The, the, the U.S. military that are like, yeah, like, you know, I did this back then, but now I know it's wrong. Like, I'm changed. Like, imperialism, this. You don't deserve the PTSD. But, like, any other military, you're joining them. You're like, oh, my God, I want my Camaro. No, still owns you. Okay. So, I know this will go further than some people will like, but after a statement like that, I don't think that that falls within free speech. I'll just be honest. Some people will disagree with me on that. But if you're out there supporting terrorism like this person is, if you're out there disparaging the military, and not in a constructive way, but saying that you, you wish for them to have PTSD, you want to, uh, you, you want to spit on them, you want you know them to have to experience hardship and, and, and trauma for doing their job to keep this country safe. Um, I think that it should be perfectly okay to get a crane or a forklift or some kind of heavy machinery to help adjust this whale out of her home, put her into a cargo truck, put her onto a nice boat to China or Turkey or... Africa or wherever else that they may want to send her and just push her in that direction. And she can go live over there and she can go complain about their military. She can go complain about anything she wants, but this fat fuck should be deported. Excommunicado. Gone. And that applies to all of Hassan's cancerous people. And I know that there are going to be people who disagree with that. And they'll say it's a slippery slope. It's not a slippery slope. It's pretty abundantly clear. If you are Hassan or one of his orbiters that is clearly anti-American, that is pro-killing cops, that is pro-terrorism, that is pro-death to the West, you got to go. And, by the way, I don't like Jake Uger, but that doesn't apply to him. Because he may be a bombast, he, he may be many things, and he, he has supported, you know, uh, he, he has encouraged cop killers and stuff, but uh, Hassan is in a different category. You know, I don't think Jake is a terrorist, I just think he's an idiot. Whereas I think that Hassan is an idiot, and he's malicious, and he knows what he's doing. I'll be a and I hope you get no health insurance when you get back into the fucking America. <laughs> get banned, you stupid bitch. Yeah, and they posted it in the head, I'm like, uh, base? You got a job uh, in the hut. Base? <laughs> like, am I supposed to be, am I supposed to be like, like, I'm not walking back on it, I still Truly, what a disgusting person. She says all of this because she sees the American military as her opposition because of her support for Palestine. And, like I said, regardless of how you feel about the conflict and what side you're on, this gleeful wishing of PTSD on all American soldiers is just disgusting. So many of those soldiers are just people trying to secure a better future for the forgot is simply not enough. But, at least it's a start. Now, let's get back to Hassan himself and the insane behavior he's been able to get away with while receiving no consequences. 
Did you guys hear about him playing literal extremist propaganda on stream and passing it off like he was just playing a music video for his friend? Yeah. When I say that, I'm not being hyperbolic at all. Check this out. Damn, YouTube coming in with more ads. You Move Me turns 10 years old this year. Here's one thing we've learned serving you the past decade. Because, hell, even a couple days ago, I was hanging out with my buddy Hassan, and this guy unironically put a, put a uh, propaganda music video on and then left the room. Left the room? Yeah. And I was just like, and the thing is, like, in hindsight, it's hilarious, you know? But at the same time, I'm like, what is going on here? This is wild to me. But, like, I, I just, and, like, the, it, he, he was like, yo, they're such great dancers. Oh, my God. I was like, okay. Oh, you want to see a Houthi musical? Sure. These were the people that the Saudis were killing, by the way. Just so you know, these fucking musically gifted individuals. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, I need the money. Yeah. I'm so confused. What is this? <laughs> This is a three minute video of what do you mean a music video? Uh, when you said music video, I'm expecting like bad example, Chris Brown dancing, you know. No, no, no. They do like what they is do this? musicals. They're very musical people. <laughs> I know. Are you being serious, dog? What do you look? I, you think I made this? this? Isn't I, I, I know they're singing, but I'm seeing just guns and shit. This isn't a music video, Hassan. No, it is. They do musicals about like their, <sighs> God. Uh, like their, their their actions all the time, and they love they love walking over. They love walking over, like, the American flag and the Israeli flag side by side. They will always, like, march on it. I'm surprised they haven't done it yet. Um, it's a, it's an act of, uh, for them, it's an act of resistance. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, see, here's, here's my thing. I don't know how a person debases themselves by sitting in a room with a son and not just absolutely punching him in the face after a statement like that, after doing that. Uh, let me just tell you, if I were to have a stroke and a lobotomy and lose about 200 points in IQ, where I would ever be in the same room as Asan for like a an amenable, friendly sort of stream, if Asan put on a terrorist propaganda video and then tried to gaslight me into saying, oh no, these guys are heroes... I would absolutely punch him in the face. And I'd get the fuck out of there. What on earth? How how do people how do people defend this? I I, I genuinely don't know. I don't watch us on stream. I see the clips of him from time to time. So how do how do you how do you justify this? This guy is sitting there with a, a so called friend and he's trying to promote a propaganda video that promotes terrorists. And, oh, ha, ha, he, he's serious. Oh, man. But let me tell you, it definitely wasn't. Check this out. He's the leader of Hezbollah, the general secretary of Hezbollah. What's Hezbollah? Hezbollah is that, that small is, guy? Hezbollah is the, <laughs> it, it's the same name. Okay. Uh, Hezbollah is a is a paramilitary organization that is also a terrorist organization. Oh, a uh, part of the Lebanese parliament. Do we like them or no? I think as a resistance group, they're pretty successful against Israel. Um. Oh. But everybody hates them. Like everybody in the region, a lot of people don't like them. Like, I like what you like. I, I like what you like. Oh, God. God, that's just depressingly retarded. I don't have an issue with them, let's just say. Oh. YouTube, come on, you gotta do something about these ads. This guy should honestly 
would just steer clear of Hassan and his orbiters. Associating with them will only end in bad news. You know, if only... <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, are you kidding me? No, it is. I like that this is no joke. For the position that I'm in, okay, for the place that I'm in in my career as a political commentator with perspectives that are completely unheard of in mainstream media, I get a tremendous amount of positive news coverage, and it is directly a consequence of the reality that I have actual fans and friends in these places, in these outlets. That's it. If you think that, if you think that I'm not getting like good coverage, you're crazy. So essentially, that's what I talked about: insider access. So you have people that are friends with this lunatic, this disgusting parasitic sack of human garbage who should be banned from Twitch and should be deported from the U.S. He gets positive coverage because he has friends who are most likely afraid that his retard audience is going to come after them if they don't. But here's the reality. You should have to be able to live with yourself. And I don't know how any of these people can be friendly with us on or do any of this. It's, it's genuinely baffling to me. Because he's such an awful, irredeemable person. There is nothing redeemable about Hassan. There is no value that he provides to anyone or anything. He is a duck-facing, narcissistic scumbag. A vapid, disingenuous, probably inbred, piece of terrorist-supporting garbage. There is no world, there is no world in which a guy like me, with my opinions, is going to get any positive coverage whatsoever. That is historically not a thing that people, uh, th that is historically not a thing that happens. And, let's just be clear, this is not something that should be happening. Nobody should be running cover for you. Your opinions are trash. True. Your politics are trash. True. And you're actually just a disgusting person as a whole. True. You just hide under this veil of the call me nice guy bro. And some people are naive enough to fall for it. Even if your analysis of literally any situation is the most surface level bro lefty bullshit you could possibly imagine. True. Now, let's turn back to the blatant support and promotion of extremism that Hassan is just allowed to do on Twitch under the joke of an excuse that Hassan is a journalist. He's in Yemeni. You're, you're Houthi and uh, Yemeni. Are you Houthi Yemeni? Alright. Bro, are we about to have a Houthi rebel on stream? Yes, brother. What do you mean? Excuse me? Of course I'm about to have a... What, what do you, I'm a journalist! I'm trying to interview the young Yemeni. Thing. No, he's a propagandist. It's not the same thing. It really isn't. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, Hassan just has terrorists on stream, on Twitch, and Twitch does nothing, and yet they ban Asmongold for having a based, normal opinion that is true. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want to watch the rest of this video, I definitely recommend you go give it a watch. It's from Grifter. Uh, Hassan needs to be banned for this. Yeah, Hassan is, is genuinely one of the worst. And I, I think that more people need to become aware of this. Of just how truly vile this person is. And if you see people collabing with them or defending Hassan, just make it clear in their comment section that you're not a fan of that and that Hassan is terrible. You know, it's a little thing. But it does make an impact if enough people do it. You know, as we see from the banning of Frogan, who knows, maybe Hassan might actually get banned. Wouldn't that be nice? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.